Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today we've got our mailbag, and I've got a few questions to tackle for you. Uh, first, uh, Tim wants to know, um, hey, I ordered some uh, BU Morgans and a BU Peace Dollar from AppMax. They came in today, and uh, one of the coins looks pretty bad in my opinion, and one is questionable as far as circulation could go. Am I missing the definition of BU? What is the standard for something being labeled BU? All right, so... BU should mean brilliant uncirculated, but sometimes if you get a coin you don't like, you just call it but ugly. That's completely different. So having said that, BU, when people use the term BU, they should be selling you a coin that is uncirculated. Uh, technically, when you go through the verbal grades, uh, you go from extra fine, you go to almost uncirculated, you go to uncirculated, UNC, UNC, and then you go to BU, brilliant uncirculated. So a brilliant uncirculated coin should be a 63 or 64 type coin, a very nice coin that's easy to tell that it is uncirculated. And what you run into is that this term has been slaughtered due to online sales. In other words, um, places like eBay, for example, but also some national sellers We'll use the term for a coin that is really just maybe an UNC, maybe an MS60 type coin. Uh, you know, you know when you look on eBay and everything is in new condition, even though it's not really in new condition, and that's not just going to coins, that'll be all kinds of stuff. Like <laughs> I only use the weed whacker for a month. I mean, that's one use, right? So uh, you know, when when it comes to coins, you've got a commercial unk is another term that you won't hear said out loud very often. That's that's a coin dealer term. That is, these companies that sell large amounts of silver dollars, uh, they smell sell what's called a commercial unk, uh, which really is a coin that's probably an MS60, could be a 61, might be a 58, and it looks nice enough to be uncirculated, and they sell them as uncirculated. So those are coins that you will see sold by some of the national big dealers that are kind of like, I call them wholesale dealers. They're not necessarily um, a coin dealer, like a, a mom and pop type place. Um, anyway, I won't get into details about who those people are. That's them calling right now, and I am busted. Uh Okay, next up, Corey Nagel wants to know, uh, bank wrapped rolls, what uh, year was the first coins rolled? So I'm going to have to do some research and get back to you on that. Um, I can say the earliest that I have seen a bank wrapped roll that I knew was original was uh, pennies from the 1930s, uh, early 1930s. But uh, we should talk a little bit about bank wrapped rolls in general. I know a lot of coin roll hunters. Uh, it's, it's a real popular hobby right now. And uh, YouTube and the internet make it even more popular because you see these people with all these amazing finds. And then you want to go on eBay and you find this coin roll that this guy happens to have that happens to have a seated coin at one end and they're all dimes in the middle and we don't know what's inside. Let's set the record straight on a couple of those things. First of all, bankroll coin hunting is lots of fun. Um, and I know lots of people have done it. Bob Ford, who found the... Uh, Wisconsin statehood quarter varieties, the high leaf and low leaf. He was an avid coin roll hunter. He got coins from the bank from the bank every week and went through them, and that's how he found the Wisconsin quarter, and which is really truly one of the only varieties to come out of the last like four decades. I mean, it's really a true variety. Um, and today, now we see people who they sell stuff on eBay and they've got all these bank wrap rolls, and they're supposed to be really cool. Listen. Uh, go to your bank and get rolls of coins and go through them. I wouldn't recommend buying stuff on eBay to go through, especially if it is advertised really salaciously. Like if they are just have a really rare coin on one end, and everything else is unknown what's in the middle. Look, you have the same guy who's been selling these amazing rolls for 10 years on eBay. How, he, how is he magically the only person in America who gets these, these fabulous finds? just a lifetime supply. Well, it's because he's making them himself. He's taking, you know, a roll of coins, putting common coins in the middle and putting fancy coins on the end. You can find old uh, bank wrap paper and then you can wrap stuff yourself. 
And so that's what you see with a lot of these uh, online sellers, these eBay sellers and things like that. So I hate to rain on their parade too much, but you know, don't, don't be naive when it comes to that type of item. Um, and so be careful when you are looking for bank wrap rolls, uh, do it the more natural way, have fun with it. Don't fall for the eBay fodder. All right. So finally, uh, let me see here. Liam Lewis, do you also play Ant-Man? So uh, lots of people ask me this question. And the answer is, of course, no. That gentleman's named Paul Rudd. And my wife can assure you that uh, we do not bankroll like Paul Rudd does. I, I will say I do my own stunts. And I just don't get paid for them like Paul Rudd does who secretly probably wants to be me. So we've got that going on, right? I mean, I'm sure people run into him all the time in the streets and say, hey, are you Ben the Coin Geek? And he's like, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just Ant-Man. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.